Boom. Hey, internets. Uh, got a good question from Michael White. Um, and he's talking about names. So I'm actually getting a lot of questions about naming your brand. And, um, you know, my normal response, because I've had this question before, I've dropped a video on this before, so you could actually search that, or you know what, I'll put a link to it um, below in the descriptions, um, about tips for naming a brand. Uh, for me, I always keep a file going, and I kind of look for inspiration everywhere. Um, and that's kind of how I approach getting new names, the same way that I approach getting concepts for new themes, because you need those seasonally, just kind of in case, or at least to springboard new ideas. Um, Michael White's question is is specific though, or his second one is, um, does the length of the name matter? Um, does it matter if the name is too long or too short? Um, great question. Uh, so I think that, I mean, there's a lot of examples of both, right? I mean, Nike is four letters. Um, I'm sure there's a few brands that might be three letters or maybe a combination of names and numbers. Uh, so I don't think that's the case. For me personally, I, I don't like to have a brand that has too long of a name uh, because uh, just for purposes of typing it in, which is a big part of the way people discover things or are searching for things, so they might hear a name and go, oh, try to Google it. Um, and so I'm not opposed to it if it's a memorable long name. Um, so here's my answer. Here's my short answer is as long as the name is one new unique and check out my video about creating a unique name for your brand so that you, you can get the trademark free, like no one's close to it, um, and that you can avoid lawsuits in case it is close to anything else. Um, so you, as long as it's a, one, a unique name, and number two, uh, along those lines, but I, I consider it separate, is try to make it be memorable. Um, along with that, being memorable if it can associate so that it's easy to spell because everyone's gonna go on their phone or computer, uh, you know, uh, I iPad, whatever, and that's how they're gonna ch check out your brand um, from that point on, so it's all digital. The other thing that's a, another factor for me is making sure you can get the same social media handle for any for as many things as possible, ideally all of it, right? So as this is post-dating, uh, Instagram, Facebook page, uh, Twitter, uh, Snap, make sure you can get all of the, whatever, whatever's hot now for social media, whenever you click on this, make sure you can get those, the same handle for all of it. And it doesn't necessarily need to be the name or the name brand, you know, the name and then brand or co or whatever. It, it can be whatever you want. So that's another thing to think about. So uh, I like it to be in the middle, um, not a long name or a short name, but just make sure it's unique, make sure it's memorable, uh, check your social media handles, make sure you can acquire those without any problem. Um, hope that helps. Uh, because it's a hot topic, I think I'm going to try to do some sort of course with it where I could put kind of all my tips together and people who are still kind of searching for a name can check out a, a course that can walk them through it on uh, on Clothing Brand Academy. Um, so when that happens, there will be a link to it below. Um, share this, like it, um, subscribe if you haven't already uh, for more tips on building your brand. Follow me on social media when you have a chance. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.